Next month, more than 3.5 million soccer fans are expected to head to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, for the World Cup. But there are some serious questions about whether Rio is ready to play host. And as Elaine Quijano reports, the World Cup is just a dry run for the Summer Olympics two years from now. Protests have erupted in Brazil in recent weeks over the high cost of hosting the World Cup. Brazil is reportedly spending $11 billion, more than double what South Africa spent when it hosted the soccer tournament, and five times more than Germany. Protests are just one of several problems plaguing the Brazilian government ahead of the World Cup. Several of the 12 stadiums being built are not finished. Major infrastructure updates have either been postponed or canceled. And Brazil is also preparing to host the Olympics in two years. Olympic sailors training in Rio have already complained about pollution. This trash-filled canal feeds into a bay where the sailing and windsurfing events will take place. Last month, a top Olympic official called Brazil's preparations the worst he'd ever experienced. Professor Lee Eagle studies the role of sports in society at New York University. If there are issues in Brazil around security, transportation, uh, any of these sorts of things that make the, the World Cup not what it should be, it's going to have an effect on the Olympic Games in 2016. Which is why Brazil is working frantically to make the World Cup a success. With fans coming from around the world, officials plan to deploy 100,000 law enforcement and security personnel during the tournament. Liliana Ayalde is the U.S. ambassador uh, to Brazil. Overruns. Is Brazil ready for the World Cup? Any major event like World Cup has its challenges. I think uh, similar issues have been raised in other major events. Uh, we have been following it, and I think we, we feel that they, they are fully committed to having a successful uh, game. When the opening match takes place on June 12th, many here hope to keep the focus on the field, not on issues off of it. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, New York.